It bags aren't just luxury purses. They're like diamonds, a timeless accessory that represents style and status. For a bag to even be labeled the it bag, it has to not only make an impact within the fashion industry, but be an obsession that represents the state of fashion itself. Ever since the term was coined back in the 90s, there's been a whole community dedicated to the many it bags throughout the decades. From a functional item to the ultimate fashion statement, from the Birkin to the baguette, and how different it bags throughout the decades correlate to the different trends, this is the history of the it bags. Bag-like items that hold one's personal item have always existed throughout human history, with the first drawstring purse dating all the way back to the 5th century. Because of its practicality, it was very popular among working men. During the late 18th centuries though, small handbags gained popularity among women and became a part of Regency fashion. The bag was called the ridicule, and it was a controversy with some people considering it to be very risque and inappropriate. Despite the controversy, women loved it and found it to be both useful and fashionable. The bag became immensely popular, being made from various materials and today is considered to be the predecessor of modern handbag. In a handbag. A handbag! The modern handbag that we all know came about during the Industrial Revolution. The era changed the way people traveled and introduced new materials and techniques for manufacturing. In 1841, H.J. Cave & Sons manufactured the first designer modern handbag after entrepreneur Samuel Parkinson ordered various handbags from the same leather material as his luggage for his wife. The demand for durable and transportable handbags quickly grew after that, but the rise for luxury handbags wouldn't happen until the early 20th century. The early 1900s was really when the idea of statement and status-defying handbags was introduced to modern culture. Various styles of handbag were created during this period for various occasions. The early half of the century really helped to determine what is an it bag and how it came to be, even though the term was coined at the very end of the 1990s. For a bag to be considered the it bag, it has to be at the moment. Many early examples of the term were all made popular by famous figures who were seen as the epitome of the current style. An it bag often comes from a luxury brand that represents nothing but prestige and it has to be popular enough to inspire many duplicates and knockoffs. The bag should also be innovative and correlate with the latest fashion ideal. But with how loosely used the term is, an it bag can just be any handbag that is or was popular. Whether they were luxury or not though, handbags during the 20th century were all about practicality. They were fashionable, but they still have function. It came in what many people consider the perfect size and length. Maybe that's why many of the it bags from that time remains popular till this day. Let's go through some of those iconic it bags from the 20th century right now. The Speedy was Louis Vuitton's first ever handbag. During the early 20th century, there was a change in people's traveling habits. Louis Vuitton accommodated that change by introducing the Capal bag in 1930, which became extremely popular. Around the same time, the brand introduced the first ever handbag for everyday use. It was a smaller version of the Capal bag and it was called the Speedy. Originally a 30cm size bag, the brand made it smaller at the request of Audrey Hepburn. Because of its practicality, the legendary actress was seen everywhere with her classic monogram Speedy. And her version, the Speedy 25, became an iconic it bag. The bag has gone through over 50 transformations since its initial release, adapted to the current trends of the moment. In the 2000s, the brand collaboration with Japanese artist Hakashi Murakami gave the classic monogram a multicolor transformation that ruled the decades. It's been almost a hundred years since its debut, and Louis Vuitton's classic Speedy seems to never go out of style. The Chanel 255 bag was named after the date of its creation, February 1955. Women during this time commonly carried their bags by hand and Coco Chanel wanted to change that. She decided to design an all-chain strap bag 
that could be carried on the shoulder if needed to, but was still versatile enough to be carried by hand or elbow. The bag was revolutionary at the time for its versatility and chicness. The iconic diamond quilted bag was later upgraded by Karl Lagerfeld when he took over the fashion house. His version with the Interlock and C logo became known as the Classic Flaps and became an it bag as well. In 2005, Lagerfeld reissued Chanel's original version. And today, the Chanel 255 bag is one of the most recognizable handbags in the world. The Birkin is the most exclusive handbag in the world. The story of how the bag came to be goes like this. In 1983, Jane Birkin, a famous actress and singer, got her seat upgraded next to Hermes sheet executive Jean-Louis Dumas. Jane, who is known for carrying her basket bag everywhere, brainstormed with Dumas on a handbag that was able to carry all the things she needed. Dumas later designed a black leather bag for Jane based on a previous design and asked if they could name the bag after her. She agreed and the rest is history. The hype for the bag actually took off during the late 1990s it bag craze and it cemented its place in pop culture even further during the 2000s where it was mentioned in countless media. By the 2010s, the Birkin not only became the most exclusive fashion statement in the world, but also the ultimate status symbol. Today, the bag is considered to be a better investment than gold. The Lady Dior is named after the one and only Princess Diana. In 1995, the Dior bag, which was known as the Chou Chou, meaning the favor in French, was gifted to Princess Diana by French First Lady Bernadette Chirac. The princess instantly fell in love with the bag and took it everywhere with her that in 1996, the bag was officially named after her. Over the years, the Lady Dior has become available in various styles and sizes, being revisited every season by the creative director of the brand. In 2019, Dior introduced the Lady Delight bag, which is a sportier version of the classic Lady Dior. With its timeless design, the Lady Dior is an enduring symbol of elegance. Piggybacking off the late 90s it bag craze, the 2000s was all about exclusivity over practicality. It was a decade that was dominated by celebrity culture and having an it bag really determined your status. And because of how documented celebrities were, brands took advantage of this and made sure their it bags were seen on the hottest stars. A lot of the it bags that was popular in this decade had been influenced one way or another by celebrities. With also the rise of fast fashion happening during this time, knockoffs were pretty common, making having the actual bag a very big deal. Some it bags during this decade were Designed by Sylvia Fendi and released in 1997, the Fendi Baguette is a shoulder bag that sits right under the arm and is often considered the original it bag. At first, the bag was criticized for being too small and not very functional. But in 2000, after its appearance on the TV series Sex in the City, the Fendi Baguette became a fashion phenomenon. The bag dominated early 2000s pop culture and was so popular that the design was not only copied by fast fashion brands, but other prominent fashion houses as well. The success of the Baguette also made Fendi a household name in the fashion industry. The hype for the bag ended in the late 2000s as trends changed and other bags grew in popularity. But in the late 2010s during the Y2K revival, the Baguette made its return to fashion, leading Fendi to relaunch a Baguette collection in 2019. The relaunch collection completely transformed the Baguette from an early 2000s it bag to a Fendi staple that will never go out of style. The Dior Saddle Bag was designed in 1999 and debuted on the runway in the Spring Summer 2000 collection. The bag was an instant hit being the ultimate competitor to the Fendi Baguette at the time. Just like the Baguettes, the Dior Saddle Bag gained mainstream attention after appearing under the arms of Carrie Bradshaw on Sex and the City. During the mid 2000s though, popularity for the bag started to fade, and by 2007, Dior stopped presenting the bag on the runway. It wasn't until 2014 that the bag would make its return and this time got rebranded into one of Dior's iconic bags. Then the late 2010s Y2K revival happened and it cemented the Dior saddle status as a legendary it bag even further. The recognizable kidney shaped bag 
is sought after for its unique design and is often regarded as a timeless piece. Introduced in 2001, the Balenciaga Motorcycle City Bag was one of the most photographed it bags of the 2000s. Known for its structureless and worn look, the bag was designed by the chief designer of Balenciaga at the time, Nicolas Gasquier. The company actually disliked the design of the bag and did not want to produce it, but Nicholas convinced them to make 25 prototypes which he gifted to celebrities and models. These it girls, especially supermodel Kate Moss, that were constantly being photographed by paparazzi made the motorcycle city bag into the ultimate it bag by being seen everywhere with it. The bag was often called the handbag version of a leather jacket, but unlike the leather jacket, the motorcycle bag did not become a classic. In the mid-2010s, the brand and celebrities tried to bring the bag back into the mainstream attention, but ultimately failed. While it has been mostly forgotten, the motorcycle bag has garnered its own cult following. Designed by the French luxury fashion brand Chloe, the Paddington is recognizable for its heavy padlock and slouch design. The bag was an instant hit when it first came out, with a debut collection completely selling out. It ruled the mid to late 2000s and spawned numerous knockoffs in the process. By the early 2010s though, the bag went out of style. The Chloe Paddington is one of those bags that really represented a moment in time, but can go beyond that. So in the late 2010s, the brand reworked the bag for a new generation. They took the defining feature of the Paddington, which was the padlock, and created a collection of bags with the iconic lock concept, calling it Abbey. While today, the Paddington has fallen out of favor, Chloe has managed to keep its legacy alive. The 2010s was a decade defined by streetwear and minimalism, with most of the it bags have a very simple and minimal design. We also saw the demand for more affordable luxury handbags, with brands like Michael Kors, Kate Spade, and Coach being very popular. The decade also saw the rise of the handbag resale market, with the real real and rebagged. The it bag during this decade was determined mostly by famous personality and the rise of street style. The bags that ruled the 2010s were the Celine luggage tote was first introduced in 2010 under the direction of British designer Phoebe Fallow. Part of her plan to revitalize Celine, the designer created a new bag now recognizable for its mouth face design. A year later in 2011, Phoebe Fallow introduced the Phantom, which was the larger version of the luggage tote that included adjustable wings. It wasn't long until the bag was seen on the arms of celebrities, but what really made it an it bag was street style. Both versions of the bag dominated the street in the early 2010s. It was extremely popular for its timeless design that was versatile with any type of style and of course for its practicality as well. The bag played a huge role in bringing the brand back on the fashion map. Part of Givenchy's 2011 Autumn Winter Collection, the Antigona was designed by Ricardo Ticci. The name of the bag comes from Greek mythology and the design is often compared to the classic doctor's bag. Made in Italy, the rugged leather and easy to carry bag was critically acclaimed for combining both feminine and masculine quality. Unlike other popular it bags that faded away, the Antigona was quickly considered a classic by most retailers and fashion critics for its modern and timeless look. While its heyday might be over, the Antigona remains a staple for many. The Chanel Boy Bag is a testament of Karl Lagerfeld's genius and talent. It was introduced in 2011 for Chanel's Fall Winter Collection and became a phenomenon, being one of the most sought after styles for the 2010s. Karl gave the bag a whole story, stating that it was a homage to Coco Chanel's passionate nine year affair with Boy Chappelle. Because of its minimalism and simple silhouettes, the bag was an automatic classic for the brand. It was something new, but something old all at the same time. The it bag was so popular, it once took over Fashion Week street style. First released in 2016, J.W. Anderson Pierce Bag was an instant hit with its rebellious circular piercing ring. The bag debuted in the designer's pre-fall 2016 collection 
and later that year was considered the ultimate street style essential. The bag is a single compartment bag with a fold over flap and detachable shoulder strap. The gothic aesthetic made it unique from all the other bag at the time. It was edgy and sophisticated, but also practical for everyday use. The mid to late 2010s was dominated by Gucci, and it was all thanks to Italian fashion designer Alessandro Michele. With a vision to reinvent the fashion house, he ended up creating many iconic pieces for the brand. The first is the Dionysus. The name comes from the Greek god of fruitfulness and vegetation. The bag immediately became a fan favorite with its signature tiger head closure. The second is the Double G Marmot bag. While logo mania was on the rise, Alessandro Michele reintroduced the classic Double G logo. He took inspiration from a buckle the brand made back in the 70s and repositioned the G's, then added the logo on as many items as possible. Whether you were into fashion or not, these Gucci bags had such a grip on fashion that you couldn't go anywhere without seeing one. Fashion has really changed since the rise of social media and e-commerce sites. For one, there's more of a focus on ethical and sustainable brands. We're seeing more and more consumers choosing to buy pre-owned handbags over fast fashion. Trends are also starting to become less important as well. Instead, we're seeing the rise of many different fashion aesthetics. For 2021, while the term has really been overused throughout the decades, there are still some new handbags that really deserve the title of the IT bag. These bags are... First seen on the runway during the fall 2017 ready-to-wear season, the success of the La Chiquito bag propelled Giacomus to fame. The bag is named after the Spanish word for tiny and became one of the most talked about bags for the new decade. What really started all the hype was the La Petite Chiquito, aka the micro version of the bag. The micro bag went viral online and soon was seen on the most stylish celebrity. The now famous Giacomo's bag comes in five main sizes, with the largest one appropriately named La Gran Chiquito. The chic design of the bag makes it look great with any outfit, even if it's not very practical. The Telfar shopping bag is one of the most popular bags out right now. The vegan leather toe is designed with both handles and shoulder straps, but its most defining feature is the Telfar logo on the front. Originally released during the mid-2010s, the unisex and affordable bag slowly grew in popularity before the New York Times dubbed 2020 the year of Telfar. Being seen practically all around the world, Telfar's main value is exclusivity, with the designers describing the brand to be for everyone. The shopping bag has become in such high demand that the brand had to introduce the bag security program to allow everyone a chance to own the bag. Right now, Telfar is in line with what people want to see and buy, making their it bag perfect for the current climate of the fashion world. With how influential it has already become, the shopping bag is shaping up to be something that will define fashion in the new decade. So that's the history of the it bag. What's your favorite that was mentioned? I'm Pelly. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment, subscribe for more fashion related videos, and remember to keep living that fashion life. Bye!